Hey guys, Mo Muller here, and in today's video, I'm going to go over a really cool AI content uh, case study that you can follow along with over the next few months, uh, just to see if AI content actually ranks. It's going to be super interesting. Let's get into today's video. So here's the plan. The plan is to write around 3,000 blog posts over around three and a half months, maybe four months. Um, we can potentially consolidate that, but that's going to be the, the general time frame of 90 days. So around 1,000 articles every single month. The keyword strategy is going to be using low competition and low search volume keywords. Uh, we're going to be using Ahrefs to do that and probably Keywords Everywhere tool, which is similar to Ahrefs, but just has the data of keywords as opposed to a whole SEO toolkit. We are going for topically relevant keywords. So we're going to get a batch of around, as I said, 3,000. There's probably around 6,000 overall in this entire silo. So we're going to go for aim for around half of the potential keywords to rank in this particular silo. Our article length is going to be around 1,500 words per post. So if you do the math on 3,000 times 1,500, it's going to be around 4.5 million um, words in general, which for me is obviously quite a lot. For other people doing AI content, it's probably absolutely nothing, like a drop in the water. Now, I may include the URL of this case study as time progresses, we'll see. But I will tell you what niche is in. It's going to be in the mummy blog niche. Now, while that can be sometimes a little bit competitive, I have managed to find a really cool silo that I can rank for tons and tons of keywords with generally not too much competition in the search engine results. And the plan is to just max out and be topically relevant for this one domain. Now, lastly, I have picked up an expired domain. So I haven't built on a fresh domain just because I don't really want to wait six, eight, nine, ten months, for example, for the actual site to rank. And we're going to jump on the computer now and I'm going to show you uh, Google Search Console, Google Analytics and where we are so far. So if that sounds interesting and you want to follow along, feel free to like and subscribe uh, with the box below. And let's look at some stats. Okay, so you've joined me inside Google Search Console. Um, and for those of you that haven't used it before or maybe aren't too familiar with it, it's essentially a place for you to get all of your um, search data, your impressions data, your click data, your position, um, and pretty much anything to do with your traffic from Google itself and the Google search results. It's gonna have your information uh, about those pages. Also, it's got loads of tools for help to help you to uh, actually index and find out any problems and troubleshoot any issues with, with your website. And overall, it's probably the first place you want to look if you're looking to find out any information on your site, whether it's gone up, gone down, or just going kind of sideways. So as I mentioned, this particular case study was started at the beginning of last month. Uh, so it was just the beginning of May. And I'm going to give you some information on the pages that we've added, uh, what that's looked like and also some of the data and the impressions that we've received so far, which is not going to be very much. Of course, it's pretty much about four weeks old, um, but it's kind of a step in the right direction. So as you can see here, um, just a, a small amount of data so far that we have, but generally things are going up in the right direction. Here is it, here it is on the overview. So again, started from the beginning of May, going up, and we're slowly getting some click and search data here. For me, the most important part of it is the indexing part, okay? Because you'll see as you get more index pages, you're going to get more clicks. It's generally quite natural as long as you've done really good keyword research. And this goes without saying for AI content uh, or normal content that's been written by a human. So let's click on pages on the side here in the indexing tab. And thus far, we have 375 page index and around 450 pages not indexed. Now, before you think, well, that's a crazy amount of pages not to be indexed, there are going to be some reasons why that is. Now, many pages don't get indexed because they are not posts uh, that Google actually need to see. So for example, a feed page, or maybe something that we've uh, excluded with a no index tag. If you do actually want to check the reasons uh, why those pages aren't indexed, then you have a long list of information down here. Uh, generally, because we've just added those pages, some of them are going to be crawled, but uh, maybe aren't indexed yet because they still need to be indexed on Google search results. So potentially we could go into these file pages and click on uh, re-index or um, and manually resubmit them. And if you're not sure how to do that, I'll show you in another video. But again, just wanted to show you so far the index pages that we have and kind of what that trajectory looks like. So as you can see, it's slowly going up. Now let's take a quick look at analytic analytics. So this is what the, the analytics look, look like. Uh, of course, some of the things are going to be probably blurred out. Um, because I'm trying to keep the domain hidden for now. Um, but as you can see from the beginning of May, which when we started, it's kind of gone up very super slowly, but in the right direction. So uh, last week, there's around 100 page views, a little bit less, and this week so far, we've got a few as well. So generally, this is what we're looking to see. Um, we are getting a good on-page uh, time, so people are actually reading the content, and the bounce rate is pretty low considering it's a informational post. People are actually reading and they're engaged with it, which is pretty cool. And very quickly, I want to show you the posts. So if you actually go into the post area, this is on WordPress dashboard itself. Again, probably much of this is going to be um, um, blurred out or maybe edited out because again, I'm not looking to share the, the exact domain 
and he was just yet but eventually maybe um so so far this is what i want to show we have published 835 uh posts thus far so i think we was indexed around 375 or around 400 so as you can see there's maybe 50 percent of those posts are not yet indexed now many of these have just been published over the last week or so so probably that's generally um quite normal as you can see here published on the 3rd of july 3rd of july etc so probably around 400 posts haven't actually been indexed um, thus far, which again, is not nothing to worry about because many of the posts we just added last week. So that's going to take a lot longer than a few days um, to actually get indexed from Google, especially on a new-ish site, well, it's an H site, but it's, it's new in terms of the content we're adding to it. Now, here's the cool thing I want to show you. So here's the article sheet that I kind of want to show you. Uh, this is what me and my team use to uh, really get in depth with all of the content silos um, and everyone has kind of their own place. They can come into the, the actual Google sheet themselves and find out which articles and posts have been done, um, which ones need to be updated. And I can keep track of all of these different articles. Now, of course, I've just given a, a keyword a example here. I'm not, I haven't actually got the real keywords. If you scroll up, you'll see those. Um, but thus far, there are around 2,800 keywords that we have for this topical silo. So the, the sheet itself is super simple. We have the keyword here. We have the volume. As I mentioned, it's quite low competition. So this is from Ahrefs. And I sometimes double check on keywords everywhere. Uh, I'll include those links in the, the kind of video below. Um, I have a, a list for the, the Vison team. So for around 3,000 posts, you're probably not going to be written by the same team. So there's lots of different people. And then here I, ha I have a article status um, column. So just to, to see whether it's been done. And then I can send it to my format team. They can update the sheet here and then add the URL here. Now, to be honest, for most of my projects, I usually use Trello, uh, especially for my client projects. But I think for 3,000 keywords, it's just going to be too too much hard work to add those into Trello and, and, and keep that updated. So Google, Sheet is so Google Sheet is really perfect for everyone. Okay, so that was a very quick update. Um, as you can see, it's in its early stages and it's in its infancy stages. Uh, but I really want to show you what we are currently doing and keep it as a case study that you can follow along. Uh, if you find it useful, please subscribe. Uh, one thing that I haven't been asking people to do enough is subscribe to the channel. It really makes a difference. It allows me to kind of engage with my subscribers and make sure everyone's happy with the content. Anyhow, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.